Well, there's a backdrop for you. So I'm at the British Museum. Uh, we're not going in today because it's the Food Channel. So we're going to get something to eat. But if you want to see everything else in London, uh, switch over to the Damon John Channel. All the museums and sightseeing around London. Got it all going on over there. But uh, yeah, so today, Let's see what's on the menu. Munchkins and we're on Great Russell Street so we're right next to the British Museum just off Tottenham Court Road and they do all day breakfast lunches and dinners so it is breakfast time but let's have a look on the menu Nice little place this. From the outside it just looks like a very small little uh, tea room or calf, but it's quite quite a size. Sell alcohol as well, so a license for that. Um, a bit early for that though. <laughs> but yeah, it's very um, inviting when you come in. So what I've ordered, because it is breakfast time but sort of getting on for lunch so I've gone for a bit of comfort food double sausage double egg chips and beans love it uh, bread and butter and a cup of tea so that's what I'm having today um, you can't beat comfort food so comfort food you know bangers and mash and and all that kind of thing, you know. But I always say, it doesn't matter really what time it is, if you fancy something, have it. Honestly, have it. If that's what you fancy, if you want a lasagna for breakfast, why not? Where's the rule book? Do you know what, I poured a cup of tea the other day and um, how dare me, I put the milk in first. And it, it just makes me laugh, the amount of people that say, you can't do that, you have to put the tea in first. <laughs> oh, it's great, it makes me laugh. So, what would be your comfort food? Your go-to meal? 
you know what? I've never drunk so much tea. I've forgotten how much I miss it. This is going to be interesting because the guy came over, he didn't have a notepad or anything, and I said, you're going to be all right? You're going to be okay remembering this? Sure. So I told him. And the only other time I, it, it fascinated me, I was in New York with my children. And we went into these, well, this particular diner. And this woman just said, yes, can I take your order? I said, uh, yeah, there's three of us. Yeah, no problem. So we all had something different. And she didn't write a thing down and it all came out perfect. So let's see if that happens today. I'm sure that music's getting louder. <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to it because I just fancy a bit of comfort food. Just annoys me, it just annoys me. So it's all, it's all come wrong. This is what he's given me. Yeah, so I didn't ask for bacon. Um, it's beans that's missing. And bread and butter, he's given me butter. No bread. So I said, right, leave the bacon on. Um, just give me some beans and some bread. Uh, the eggs are sunny side up. Uh, um, God, just so annoying. Right. I've just asked if I can have my um, eggs turned. Um, sunny side up is okay, but I've got to be really in the mood. That probably sounds silly, but um, I'm not going to be able to spread this. But yeah, I, I just, I, I don't fancy sunny side up today. So I asked if he could um, turn them over for me. So that's it, isn't it? If you don't ask, you don't get. And uh, why complain about it when just asked for how you want it? Right, there you go. Let's turn the eggs. I mean, they're well done, but do you know what? Bless him, he's on his own. Spanked chip buddy. You can't go wrong there, can you? Because I'm looking at these sausages and they are not going to be my favourite. But chip butty always works. I'll finish up outside because the music's loud in here anyway. Um, yeah. Oh, it pains me. It pains me. I mean, I've got a right good kicker for you at the end. Um, right, sausages were just unbearable. You could see straight away that they were the cheap calf ones. Um, yeah, they're, they're not, not for me at all. 
Um, the bacon I didn't order. Uh, um, the beans, I mean, frozen chips. I, I don't know what to say about it because you saw what I, what I got. You got the order wrong. If there's a language barrier, I don't know, but you got the order wrong. You didn't write anything down. Because uh, I said, will you remember this? Yes, okay. And he didn't. Um, that's why I mentioned it before the meal arrived, because I, I kind of felt that this is not going to go well. Uh, pot of tea, yeah, nice. Um, I mean, that was, that was basic comfort food gone wrong, in my opinion. Here's the kicker. That was 23 pounds, six pence. Now, some of you have spat your tea out. Some of you have fallen off your chair because I nearly did. 23 pounds, six pence. Now, I, if it was good produce done badly, I would, would have asked for a discount. But the produce wasn't there in the first place. So that's what they serve. Um, yeah, you forgot <laughs> half, half the plate of food. Look, it is what it is. It's 23 pounds, six pence for that. What, what was that? What was that? Half a breakfast? I don't know. I don't know what you really call it. Um, <laughs> I just, I don't know. I'm gutted. The, the guy really tried. He, he really did try. You know, he got it wrong. I asked for the eggs to be turned. You know, everything wasn't too much trouble, but yeah, and you walk in, you think, oh, what a nice place. But that, I'm sorry, the quality of the food in there is, I've got to give it a miss in future. I can't go back. Uh, guys, I hate, I hate doing these reviews where I have to be negative, but there was, what was good about that? Uh, look, let's leave it there. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you get value from my videos. If you do, give us a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, they're not all like this. To be fair, I usually go online and have a look, but I passed it the other day and it looked so good. I thought, let's go in, we'll try that. And that's what happened. So there you go. You can't blame me for trying. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one.